I've stayed away from the Deadpool craze mostly because I knew Wade Wilson before he was cool. And before he was lame. I'm not the biggest fan of Howard the Duck either. But in this team up of wacky and quacky, I'm interested to see a misadventure for the ages. Deadpool the Duck number one is about to get dumb. The attitude behind this comic is just right, out of place and comfortable. Stuart Moore and Jacopo Camagni play it safe, making each page mediocre. Duck. Stuart Moore writes Deadpool like someone who loves to write Deadpool, which makes him someone we loathe to write Deadpool. The lame jokes were just off center for the character, and I'm surprised there wasn't a chimichanga reference on every page. Dig. We spend lots of time in a nondescript warehouse just getting to plot point one. I suppose that's to show how annoying Deadpool is, but it's not fun to read, and if Agent Mary doesn't come back in a big way, this book is so dumb. Where the dialogue lacks for Deadpool, Howard the Duck is drawn perfectly. Good wise quacking, moral queries, and enough existential crisis to ruffle your feathers. The action and way the two characters eventually merge are fun to read, but make little logical sense. I can't really fault the story for that though, because what these two have most in common is their typical flawed logic. So I'm gonna enjoy the ride, and I suggest you do as well. Deadpool the Duck number one gets a seven on the Richter scale for its lack of Deadpool precision and its spot on duck impression. The guest stars don't hurt either. For more comic reviews, check out our website nerdrift.com. If you like this video, you know what to do. Let us know what comics you want to see next week or your thoughts about these comics in the comment section below. If you're new here, hit subscribe for more. Ah!